learning objectives after studying this module students will be able to define raw data understand the concept of classifying data know about types of data classification learn about techniques of forming classes discuss tally marking learn about different frequency distribution organization of data classification is arranging or organizing things into groups or classes based on some criteria classification of objects or things saves our valuable time and effort what is raw data raw data is the disorganized or unclassified data these are very large and difficult to handle it is difficult to draw meaningful conclusions from the raw data after the collection of data the next step is to organize this data and present it into classified form when facts of similar nature are placed in the same group it enables one to locate them easily make comparison and draw inferences without any difficulty classification of data the groups or classes of a classification is done in various ways the way we classify data depends upon our requirement types of classification and variables types of classification of data there are different ways to classify data chronological classification in this classification the data is classified in ascending or descending order with reference to time like months years weeks quarters etc spatial classification in this classification the data is classified with reference to geographical locations like countries states cities districts etc for example yields of wheat in different countries qualitative classification at times we cannot express the features quantitatively such features are called as attributes or qualities like nationality literacy gender marital status etc these attributes can be classified either on the basis of presence or absence of qualities such classification of data which is done on the basis of attributes is called as qualitative classification quantitative classification this is the second stage of classification which is based on the presence or absence of another attribute which are in nature when collected data of such features is grouped into classes it becomes quantitative classification variables in the previous chapter we have learned the definition of variables variable is the value that keeps on changing but that definition does not explain how it varies variables varies on the basis of different criterion types of variables the variables can be classified into two categories discrete variable continuous variable discrete variable a discrete variable can take only certain values it jumps from one value to another but it does not take fractional value which is between two numbers or in between value for example like a number of students in the class will assume values that are whole numbers it won't take fractional value like 28.5 between 28 and 29 continuous variable a continuous variable can take any value whether it is fractional value whole numbers integers value that are not exact fractions the examples of continuous variables are weight height time and distance etc 
For example, height of student as he grows would take all the values between 80 cm to 163 cm. It will take all values in between these numbers. Frequency distribution What is frequency distribution? Frequency distribution is a way through which we classify raw data which contains quantitative variable. It basically shows how different values of a variable are distributed in different classes. Frequency distribution table In each frequency distribution table, there is a class limit on each class of a table. Class limits are basically two ends of a class. The lowest value in the class is called as lower class limit and highest value is called as upper class limit. Class interval or class width. This is the difference between the upper class limit and lower class limit. Class midpoint or class mark. It is the middle value of a class. It is the halfway of the lower limit and upper limit of a class. How to prepare a frequency table? When we prepare frequency distribution table, then we need to address five points. Should we have equal or unequal sized class intervals? We use unequal sized intervals in two situations. The first situation is when we have data on income and other variables which are of similar nature but have a high range. Second, if in the small range, large value of data are concentrated. In all other situations, equal sized intervals are used in frequency distribution. Points to remember for frequency distribution. How many classes we should have? Generally, the number of classes are between 6 and 15. In case of equal sized class intervals, the number of classes can be calculated by dividing the range by the size of the class intervals. What should be the size of each class? To determine the size of each class, we must know the class interval and range of class as these things are interlinked. How should we determine the class limits? Class limits should be definite and stated in clear manner. The lower and upper class limits should be determined in a way that frequencies of each class tend to concentrate in the middle of the class intervals. Types of class intervals Inclusive class interval In this class interval, the values equal to the lower and upper limits of a class are included in the frequency of that same class. Exclusive class interval In this class interval, the values equal to the lower and upper limits of a class are excluded in the frequency of that same class. Adjustment of class intervals We can make the adjustment of class intervals by following ways. 1. Find the difference between the lower limit of the second class and the upper limit of the first class. 2. Divide the difference obtained by 2. 3. Subtract the value obtained from the lower limits of all classes. 4. Add the value obtained in upper limits of all classes after the adjustment that restores Continuity of data in the frequency distribution of class. Ways to prepare frequency distribution. How to get the frequency of each class? The frequency of an observation means how many times that observation occurs in the raw data. But when the data is grouped into classes, the class frequency is done by tally marks. 
tally marking in this method a tally is put against a class for each object that falls in that class thus frequency in a class is equal to the number of tallies against that class loss of information the frequency distribution summarizes the raw data and helps to make it more concise and comprehensible there is loss of information once the data are grouped into classes an individual observation has no significance in further statistical calculations frequency distribution with unequal classes if the classes are to be formed in such a way that class marks coincide as far as possible to a value around which the observations in a class tend to concentrate then equal class interval is more appropriate frequency array the classification of for discrete variable is known as a frequency array since a discrete variable takes values and not intermediate fractional values between two integral values we have frequencies that correspond to each of its integral values bivariate frequency distribution it can be defined as a frequency distribution of two variables suppose that we collect information on height and weight of customers in this case we have bivariate sample data such bivariate data can be summarized using a bivariate frequency distribution summary let us summarize what we have learned in this module classification is arranging or organizing things into groups or classes based on some criteria raw data is the disorganized or unclassified data in chronological classification the data is classified in ascending or descending order with reference to time like months years weeks quarters etc in spatial classification the data is classified with reference to geographical locations like countries states cities districts etc classification of data done on the basis of attributes is called as qualitative classification quantitative classification is based on the presence or absence of another attribute which are in nature variable is the value that keeps on changing a discrete variable can take only certain values it jumps from one value to another but it does not take fractional value which is between two numbers or in between value a continuous variable can take any value whether it is fractional value whole numbers integers value that are not exact fractions frequency distribution is a way through which we classify raw data which contains quantitative variable class limits are basically two ends of a class the lowest value in the class is called as lower class limit and highest value is called as upper class limit class interval is the difference between the upper class limit and lower class limit 